we're an active congregation and, and the, the, the people who get the most out of it are also the people who put the most into it. For a number of years, I sat on the outside looking in. And when I decided to finally get, come on the inside and start getting involved and start to uh, volunteer some time and, and, uh, and our time and talents, is when you start to see the fruits of that. And it's, um, it's just been remarkable um, what has come of that. And my only regret in that, that whole process is that I never started sooner. I think for me, it's uh, one of the neatest things is just a chance to meet people and to understand where they're at in their lives and, and uh, realize that there's a lot of work to be done to serve the world and, and uh, a lot of it can just start right here. I did do it out of, I felt, um, obligation initially. But I think once you get involved, or when I got involved, and I, I realized that I was getting more from my volunteering than I was actually giving. I've grown in my faith, um, and I think just the satisfaction of helping someone else um, in ways that, that I can. Everybody's got 24 hours every day and it's sort of how you fill it up that makes it interesting. It gives you a purpose, you know. I do think part of the way we found our place is finding things that we individually and together enjoy doing. As you insert yourself more into activities and, and intentionally get involved in things, you find more and more connections with people. I think it's important to realize that, you know what, sometimes uh, just growing a group to maintain a historical chapel, what you get out of it, you'll never, never thought about it until you got in it. And, and maybe just working together to do that, you'll, uh, you'll learn more about yourself and more about other people and how you can serve others. I mean, this is my second time around in Club 56, but I think we get as much from them because sometimes they just have a great outlook and they don't overcomplicate things and they have a much clearer view of right and wrong. And uh, there's a lot to be learned from them and, and definitely pick up on their energy. And being a Casey, it's so fun. I look forward to the group and seeing them every week. Um, I'm already excited about what's next, whether it'll be that I go on to confirmation with them or get to be a BE or KC leader for one of the other kids. I uh, taught Bible Explorers for a few years and, um, you know, it's kind of frightening at times when you, all of a sudden here comes 10 little kids, 10 little second graders coming your way and, you know, I'm not exactly the little kid type, but it, it's probably some of the funnest things I've ever did because you, you get to meet all these little personalities. You meet all their parents and all of a sudden you realize before you know it, 10 years later, you're seeing them walk down the aisle to, for baccalaureate service or a blessing, a confirmation. And you realize you probably had a pretty big impact on their life. When you get involved, I found that you, you, you meet the people, it starts feeling like a community. And the more you get involved, the more you want to be here. And I, I think it's true in all of life, but particularly at church too, that if you, if you want to deepen your experience, that you have to step out a little bit in faith and, and be a part of um, a group. And I think Mount Olivet offers a lot of different opportunities to meet people where they're at, the things that they like to do and the things that they have talents and skills in, and allow them to participate in making that happen.